and welcome back to my channel or hello and welcome to my channel if you are new. Today's video is going to be a little upcycle of a kitchen trolley unit storage thing that goes in my kitchen. This isn't an upcycle of an old item, this is an upcycle of a brand new item that I bought from Argos the other day. I bought it on a bit of a whim because we're getting a new fridge and yeah, new fridge freezer. So it's got the fridge section at the top and the freezer section at the bottom. This is my current fridge freezer, which is, um, it's working, it works. You know, it's fairly old, but it does do the job and I'm going to try and sell it afterwards and not just, you know, get rid of it because it is in working order. It's a little bit loud, makes a bit of a noise. I'm sure you can hear it in most of my videos that I do the, noise, the fridge just making a noise in the background. Whether the new fridge will be quieter, I don't really know. But the main reason I'm be getting a new one is this space in my kitchen has enough room for a bigger fridge and every time we go shopping we cram the fridge with shopping and we just can't seem to fit everything that we buy in there most of the time so I just wanted a fridge that I could put things in that I could make lunches for the week and store them inside the fridge and not have to like struggle Jenga style trying to get them in and out of the fridge so that's what I've done I've ordered like the biggest possible fridge that I can go in that cap and tried to measure doorways in the house to make sure that it can get through so fingers crossed that is coming in a couple of weeks and we can actually fit it into the space anyway the reason for me buying a kitchen trolley is because I needed somewhere to put my microwave which usually just sits on top of my fridge and because the fridge that I'm going to be getting is much much taller it's not going to be able to have my microwave on top of because that would just be impossible to be taking food in and out of a microwave that's all the way up there so I thought I've got to get something else and I also needed extra storage for the kitchen anyway so oh, I did a lot of looking around trying to find something right and then as I said on a bit of a whim I was like right this is the one I'll just buy this hundred pound quite expensive really for what it is my friend actually told me that it's come straight out of animal crossing new horizons which is the game that i've been obsessed with recently um so maybe i've been slightly inspired by that i don't know but it doesn't really match our decor jim hates it he hated it before i even put it up i showed him a picture of what i'd ordered and he was just like why did you order that <laughs> I honestly couldn't find anything else anyway what i'm going to do is give it a little bit of paint put a little bit of DC fix on it and kind of blend it in with the other cupboards in my kitchen and I think that it's going to look so so much better um so yeah that's what I'm going to do today so my plan is to DC fix this section with the same color DC fix that we have on here so I need to go and buy some of that from B&Q later actually whilst I'm out in town I'm going to put that there there and there I'm going to leave this black for now I think and then I'm just going to paint this section here, the drawers, in a grey paint and the side here just in grey and I think that will hopefully blend this in and make it look a little bit more modern because it does look a little bit old fashioned and it's one of those things where it's that kind of, I don't know what style they call it, rustic loft living kind of style where obviously it will go in some people's homes but my home is way too like grey and modern themed now this is just the wilkinson's furniture chalk paint which i've used before on a desk in my office room um so yeah i don't know whether this one's gonna be too pale but hopefully hopefully with a couple of coats it can cover this dark wood fingers crossed
I have decided that I think I need to use a darker grey for this section rather than this pale one so I've dug this out of the <laughs> garage. This one's from b and not entirely sure whether they still stock this one, it's quite old, I've used it for all my doors in the house and it's just like a grey slate colour so it's a little bit darker so I'm thinking if I do the second coat in this colour hopefully that'll come out okay and I'll have to like redo it. Okay, so it's much later on now and I've been to B&Q and I've purchased two rolls of this. It's in the Sonoma, I will try and link to the colour that I have used below, but this is the same colour as the one that I've used on my worktop on the actual main kitchen unit area. So I'm going to put this on top of this new unit.
Well, there we go. I hope you like the transformation of my little kitchen cabinet. I really, really love it. I think it's really made it fit in with my kitchen. I thought that I'd do a little bit of a slower video just because a few people have mentioned in the past that I speed things up a little bit too much. Um, so I thought it would be nice to do a nice slow one. I hope you're all still awake and you didn't fall asleep because I almost fell asleep whilst I was it with that lovely peaceful music. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.